So we have something very exciting going on today with the truck. As you guys know from my last like what, one, two, three, four, five, six, five or six builds, I typically always go with a Carly suspension setup. Well, this truck does have a Carly suspension setup. The, it has the leveling coils, the Fox shocks paired with the adjustable track bar. Kind of the standard leveling kit, right? Well, unfortunately, right now, Carly is mm, like four or five months backed up on uh, producing sway bars. Well, I believe that the sway bar is a critical component to the suspension of this truck. So what I decided to do is test out the Thurin sway bar. Now, as it goes, the Thurin sway bar is pretty similar to the rate of the Carly sway bar. So I was advised that these two systems are in fact interchangeable. So I figured I've never had any Thurin parts and uh, I don't wanna wait six months for a sway bar. So we'll see what we've got going on. So it looks like these are gonna be end links, greasable on both sides with uh, just a rubber pressed in bushing. Okay, and then this looks like maybe a spacer. Again, we've got some bushings. Okay, so this bushing just has a slit in it. And these, I'm guessing, are the end link bolts. We do have some uh, instructions and our first Thurin sticker. So one of the first differences, as you may be able to tell, is this sway bar comes in one piece. Um, the Carly one, this is a separate piece. So that's, uh, I guess, kind of convenient. So right off the bat, um, you can kind of tell that this you know, bracket isn't quite as high quality as the uh, Carly one. These are a little bit cheaper. You know, the Carly has fabricated, uh, I believe, billet um, end links, but the Thurin option is like half the price. So if you're looking for something a little bit more budget friendly, this one might be for you and it's in stock. Sorry, Carly, you gotta have these parts in stock. So um, no animosity each way. I love Carly stuff, but we're gonna try this Thurin sway bar. So let's get it installed. The nice thing is, is the sway bar is actually a pretty easy install. This is obviously your sway bar right here. And uh, we're gonna knock off these four bolts. They're 15 mil. All right, let's get the half inch gun. No problemo. What should we be doing this? Cause that will swing down. On your last bolt. She goes. So it's only a quick 10 minutes later and the factory um, sway bar is off and we're ready to reinstall this Thurin sway bar. Again, it's just four simple bolts on a 13 plus truck. You are gonna use these shims between the frame and the sway bar. So let me get back under there. Once you have the sway bar kind of mocked up, we're going to get these end links ready and in place. 
And then with the replacements, you're not going to retain, you're not going to reuse the factory bolts. We are going to use the hardware provided, which is a 19 mil. Once you've got all that done, the last step is to put some grease on that bad puppy. This Milwaukee puts out a good amount of grease, so seems like only one or two bursts is enough. So now we're all hot and sweaty from that. My first instinct is to tell you that the third one actually seems to go on a little bit easier. My last Carly Sway bar on my uh, dually, obviously there's a couple extra steps of securing the I gotta take that so finish what I was saying in the garage the um, ease of install seemed a little bit better actually on the Thurin just because the sway bar and the sway bar arms are a singular piece whereas the Carly you have to hammer it on um, the tolerances are probably a lot higher but the Carly one does come in more pieces so I think the ease of install was actually a little bit easier on the Thurin. Um, as I said in the beginning, I was advised that the kind of recoil rate from both systems are compatible, meaning that it's not bad necessarily to put a Thurin sway bar on a Carly coil system. Um, it's just that the bushings and the brackets and the end links aren't quite as good of quality. But to be honest, I mean, Thurin is still a very good brand. It's not like you're getting some, you know, junk. So for almost half the price, it might not be terrible. I haven't gone on over any crazy bumps yet, but right off the bat, I can feel that the um, front is a little bit more fluid. On that factory sway bar, a lot of the problem with it is, is it's just so rigid. It's almost like having just a steel bar, literally under there and there's no give to it you know obviously that that carly one and this third is more of a progressive rate where it, where it feels a low speed jarring it kind of lets lets more play happen and then when you're in a higher speed cornering situation it kind of allows you a little bit more um rigidity to the system yeah i definitely feel like it's not binding quite as badly as it did at one point. It's, uh, that's, that's, that's one of the big complaints with the system is it, is it kind of binds up and doesn't give you a lot of, um, just stays really rigid when you want it to be a little bit more free. So this is another road that's usually kind of pretty rough and actually it feels pretty good. I've, of course you could still feel the truck absorbing it, but I'm not getting a lot of that feedback through the wheel and so much kind of like rigidity in the cab. Now we're gonna go along kind of a sweeping corner here. Of course, someone pulled out right in front of me, so. That's nice. Let's take a quick right here. I actually think I wanna get the rear. I believe that Thurin also makes a rear sway bar replacement. And now it's almost where I can feel that the front is kind of having that free, easy breathing movement. That was small. Put your fucking hands down, stupid. Well, who are you throwing your fucking hands up at? Yeah, say you're sorry. So anyway, where you feel that the, the front has that kind of more now fluid, free flowing motion, now it almost feels like the front and the back are almost working against each other. So I think I'm gonna get the rear one as well. And I think that'll actually be pretty damn nice. I need to get steps for this truck, even at 6'1". It's like a flipping climb to get in and out of here. So I think as far as that uh, experiment goes, I think the conclusion is, is positive that yes, a Thurin sway bar will work, obviously, with the Carly Springs and 
it does have an impressive driving quality. Like I said, we don't get that binding quite so much. We get a lot freer motion and uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. This is a road that usually is pretty bumpy and pretty rough and uh, I feel like I feel like there's bumps coming up here. Yeah, I feel like it's absorbing them a lot better and not not that it's necessarily absorbing them better, but it's just distributing what the front axle is doing in a more deliberate way. And of course, that makes the cabin and ride experience tremendously better. However, like I said, I do want to try that rear one because I've never done a rear sway bar either. And this is the first truck that I've had with the opportunity to try a rear sway bar. So it might be time. Let me know what you think.